Welcome to my video tutorial on how to add an RSS feed to your NetVibes information portal. This tutorial is geared for Ms. Lester's Media 21 students. To get started, you'll first need to make sure that you have your information portal open in your NetVibes account. The second step is to open the web page that has the RSS feed that you'd like to add and embed into your information portal. This particular example is a column from the New York Times featuring writing from military veterans and their accounts of life back home. To get started with adding the RSS feed, we're going to toggle over to our NetVibes page and in the upper left hand corner click on Add Content. We're going to scroll down and we're going to choose the menu option Add a Feed. NetVibes is especially smart because you can either manually enter a page's RSS feed, if you can capture that, but it also has something called Auto Detect. This means that you don't necessarily actually have to go and put in the specific RSS feed URL. Instead, NetVibes can take just the regular URL to that web page and detect the RSS feeds on that page for you. I'm going to enter the URL to this uh, web page that's in the New York Times and I'm going to click on Add Feed. Typically, you'll get at least two feeds generated using the Auto Detection option. To simply decide which one is right for you, consider adding each feed to the page. Once the feed is added, you can match the headlines in the RSS feed back up to your web page to see which one is the correct feed. In this case, the second option that I have added is the RSS feed for that specific page that I need because it matches the most recent columns or entries onto that web page. What I'm going to do now is to eliminate the widget or the RSS feed for that widget that I no longer need. And I can simply do that by clicking the X. And I'm going to delete it forever. It's okay to choose that option. And now I've added the RSS feed to my information portal on veterans issues. The other way that you can add the RSS feed in addition to simply using the auto detection uh, feature is to look for the RSS icon on the web page. If you're using Internet Explorer you can simply click on the RSS icon that you see and it will take you to a page that will generate the RSS feed for you. Other browsers like Chrome and Firefox may be a little trickier to negotiate, so you may want to instead simply scroll the page to locate that RSS icon. In this case, here's my RSS icon with the hyperlink. Right now I'm using Firefox, and if I right click on that text link, it will actually give me the option to copy a link location. If you're using Chrome, you will get a similar option. If you're an Internet Explorer, you'll choose the option to copy the shortcut. I'm going to grab that link now. I'm going to go back to my NetVibes page. And I'm ready now to add that RSS feed. I'm going to blot out the one, or excuse me, remove the one that I had used previously. And now I'm going to enter the specific feed for that New York Times Veterans News page. I'm going to click Add the Feed. In this case, only one feed is added, and it is going to be that very specific one since I entered an exact URL. This is one advantage of entering the exact URL, URL of the RSS feed as opposed to using the auto detect, but really either option works uh, quite effectively. You may also want to see, particularly if you are browsing uh, news article web pages, if there are additional tags that you can go and explore. For example, if I look at these articles, there are tags or additional labels attached on this news page as I go through and I browse the different news results from this news portal that it's just about veterans issues. So for example, if I am specifically interested, let's say, in uh, traumatic brain injury and veterans, I'm going to click on traumatic brain injury. And this is going to take me now to a results page that will pull only articles related to veterans and the traumatic brain injury. Again, I may want to either grab the RSS feed using my browser or I can go and manually look for it on the page. And again, depending on the news service, you may have to look and if you can't find it, please let Ms. Hamilton know and she will be more than glad to help you locate the RSS feed. This tells me that this is an RSS feed for veterans and it's specifically narrowed down to results 
coupled with the term traumatic brain injury. So if you're focusing on that topic in your research and you want to add it to your information portal, again, I'm going to grab that link location and I'm going to erase or blot out, if you will, the previous feed that I had entered. I'm going to click Add Feed. NetVibes is going to think for just a moment and now is going to pull the results for articles related to veterans and traumatic brain injury. That's how easy it is to use RSS feeds to show the resources that you are using in your research as well as to get the latest updates on that topic very easily for yourself. Thank you for watching this video tutorial for the Media 21 students on adding RSS feeds to your NetVibes information portal.